Lads, ladettes, lassies, cavalry battle. Three students as horses, one student as the rider. Last episode, we had Deku teaming up with Tokiyami, Hatsume, Uraraka, and now he's gonna go up against Todoroki, Ida, and Momo, and Kaminari. I almost forgot a couple names there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But joining me, Josh, today is my good friend, Mikaya, who's never seen My Hero Academia, and I, he's, he's and loving I it right now. pulled into and I'm absolutely loving it. I mean, yeah, we're both long book nerds, and this is one of the greatest love letters to Golden Age comics that we've ever seen. Um, so, of course, I'm, of how can I not love it? <laughs> <laughs> it would be very, I would be very confused if Makai started this and he's like, I don't like it. I'm, what's wrong? Did something, what? is Wait, he broken? <laughs> no, yeah. Like, I'm having trouble finding weaknesses in this show. <laughs> Aside from the apparently typical weakness that anime has of it not knowing how to resolve Joe. <laughs> <laughs> not, uh, just not ending episodes actually, halfway through. <laughs> yeah, honestly, anime has no idea how to actually end the story well, <laughs> which is infuriating. Absolutely. Oh, uh, if other, you think yeah, it's infuriating now, just like the uh, people that wait watch this like, week to week, <laughs> like ah, I have to wait a week. <laughs> it, it's an addictive rage, is what it is. It might be a brilliant marketing move if they're actually trying make it a marketing move i just don't know if it's intentional or not i really don't know Ugh. but yeah so i think it it's a marketing like, move i think it's a marketing i move. honestly think you're right actually oh interesting okay so i'm looking at the thumbnail for this next episode uh and it looks like we've got uh deku using his power on todoroki and todoroki fighting with his left side which he said he never used it Oh, that thumb, that's, that's, a naughty, that's a naughty thumbnail. <laughs> Very naughty thumbnail. But so, it's also making me seriously hyped. <laughs> let's get into the context of the thumbnail. Let's start this reaction. Oh, mm -hmm. my. Yeah, a little. Oh, so okay. how was the cowboy well, battle? I mean, okay. I'm glad I was proving right a little bit. I'm a little bit disappointed. I have I have very mixed emotions because Deku lost, right? <laughs> and last episode we talked about how I had no idea what was about to happen. So I'm glad that I had no idea what was about to happen. Almost glad in a way that he lost because it means there's still stakes, but he still lost. <laughs> well, like, he didn't get first place. Again, it's, it's... So he's not perfectly OP. Like, yeah, he's not perfectly OP, and, like, this is a, it's like a tournament arc, so, like, you're, you're basically, yeah. uh, you, you know, you're, you got, like, all the, you, you gotta go through all these challenges, so he, he doesn't have yeah. to win mm -hmm. them all, right? No, yeah. So, but, but yeah, I really yeah. do appreciate the fact that they had Deku lose, like, he won the first one, and then he just lost the second one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Honestly, it's, he won and lost both of such a ways too yeah, yeah. Oh, man. so um so that was just really good really intense there was so much strategy <laughs> good lord you see like that's another thing with Ant, like um you know like uh like uh, american cartoons and you can't really do this in live action because it comes off as really goofy but like um with anime you can like see their inner thoughts and like they're always narrating what they're about to do yep. which it plays into the strategy, and I love it. Ah, it's so good. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm actually learning about strategy this way, because uh, confession suck at any strategy. Like, any and all of them, I'm terrible at. I feel but, like <laughs> Just by analyzing their strategy, I feel like I'm actually learning about strategy. Are we going to be playing Halo, and you're just going to be, like, spouting out what <laughs> strategy <is? laughs> I'm gonna start muttering like Deku. <laughs> All right, Josh, you have to take the left left flank where they're weakest. <laughs> Anthony, yeah. you go straight forward because <laughs> you have the best name and the strongest character. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, my strategy for Halo is run around, shoot them in the face. Run and around, and be as accurate as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
it really doesn't work very well. I probably should be a bit more strategic, actually. Um, uh, I mean, but, like with yeah. shooters, I just like I, I'm I, I don't even try with shooters. I know I'm bad. I, I don't really have a strategy because like I'm not the best with aim, so it doesn't really matter if I have a great strategy. But mo no. literally any other game, I'm always playing like stealth. Like I, I'm the stealth. Guy. I'm the I, guy that kills the, it from behind. The stealth archer, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the stealth archer, stealth well, dagger. Stealth just it, the strategically best way to do it, go. You can have the most game for the least risk. Exactly. Every single time, guaranteed, hundred percent. So yeah. After, uh, you play Skyrim. I, I have not started Skyrim. <laughs> oh, dude, play Skyrim. I know I need to play Skyrim. Any game that's the epitome, epitome of the stealth archer combo, it is Skyrim. Like even more so than the Batman, honestly. Um, it's oh Batman. Modern Warfare is really good about stealth too, which is surprising considering it's a shooter and you have guns. But man, there's some of those silencer levels. <laughs> like all go up. Oh, so good. No, this guy. <laughs> You've seen the memes, you know. Yeah, the silencer memes <laughs> and Skyrim memes too. Oh, oh the Skyrim memes. <laughs> I just it's it's a hey, class it's a class <laughs> it's a classic <laughs> meme, but like oh, you're finally awake. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like that one, like <laughs> yeah, the sure. girl I like asked me out. Um, I win the lottery. I'm actually happy for once in my life. Alarm clock. Oh, so you're finally. Awake. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, but like, yeah. uh, we we oh, kind of so saw. You need to play Skyrim. We saw like a quirk, quote unquote, evolution. It's not really an evolution because Ida's had it all this time, but we saw like a power up with Ida. And, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. His uh, super speed. Super, super speed. Dude, just imagine if quirks could evolve in this. Like, if they could somehow add on another ability or a, they could change the way they work mid show, just imagine what they could do with that. Holy cow, that'd be incredible. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but I mean, for some of them, like, you, you can't really evolve one for all that much. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's basically, just fight really hard, pump really hard. You know, I thought you were gonna, I thought you were gonna say like Uraraka's gravity quirk, but no, you just went straight for one round. <laughs> oh no, no, definitely. Well, Uraraki, actually, I could see some way for evolving it, where it's like, um, uh, let's mm, maybe she could turn off gravity in a field around her instead of her specific objects oh. as well. Um, that could be interesting. Uh. She can hold it for longer, of course, uh, and she, I mean, I guess the throw up thing would have to stay because that's a limiter. Um, that's like the fields. Yeah, you know, the throw up thing is basically like the... Oh, duh, and of course, direction, or, or the direction. The direction of where it goes. So instead of like just yeah, floating yeah, something, yeah. it just kind of like becomes more of a telepath then? Um, yeah. So oh, basically, it's like, uh, what's it called? In the Stormlight Archive. <laughs> oh, um, I'm trying to... Going through all the powers now. <laughs> oh, oh, what the heck is it called? Dang it! Ah. No. Just describe it, and then, like someone will correct you in the comments. Yeah, tethering, whatever the thing. Yeah, Te I think it is. You can... It is tethering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Is I think it I, I'm fairly certain I don't think it, it is. is. I really don't. Think it is. Somebody in the comments will know about sort of archives, and they can correct that. And then you can like their comments that it goes all the way to. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a heart. <laughs> I'll pin it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah, basically it's that idea. You touch something and you change the direction of the gravity for it. So you can attract it to something else and basically create a magnet with it. Uh, you can just send something flying straight up. You I, can, I'm fairly certain yeah. it's tethering. I, like, it sounds correct. <laughs> it might be. T it honestly might be. I super don't remember. And I'm too lazy to go and grab my book right but yeah, she could basically do that for her evolution. Too. Oh man, that would be that would be really cool. Like that would be uh, really the combat capabilities of that. <laughs> the combat capabilities are insane. Well, you read? Oh, you've only read the first like, two. Like I, I've read only read the first use. book of um, Oh my Stormlight. god, Sanders and gets so nuts with it in the second book. Oh, you gotta read. I got I gotta get them. Uh, actually, I guess that's what I could spend my money on. Oh, yeah, finally. Yeah, heck yeah, do that. Dude, heck not. Um, actually, yeah, for those of you reading or watching this video, if you haven't read Brandon Sanderson's Stormlight Archives, be warned, each book is at least 1,100 pages. 
At and least. At the moment, there are four of them. going to be a ten book series. But it is absolutely incredible. And fantastic storytelling, fantastic characters, fantastic world building, and honestly, some of the best books that I've ever read. Um, so, I not recommend. <laughs> um, Bruh. Uh, I want Brandon Sanderson. I, I want the Stormlight Archives to get an anime adaptation. <laughs> you actually, know it would be I good. Can, I can see that. I key. Like, it'd make a really fantastic anime. Uh, it would be yeah. beautiful. Because, like, yes. yeah. you, you don't have the. You, you do have budget concerns with anime, but, like, it's going to have there... its, It would have its own art style. You don't have to worry about it, like, aging terribly with CGI no, and you stuff. Really don't. Yeah. So, like, yeah, exactly. And you wouldn't have to worry about CGI. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't That'd have to worry about CGI. Like... So, yeah. Anime, it, like, Brandon Sanderson, give the rights to uh, some animation studio. <laughs> as soon as he finishes it, he's got to finish it first, is the problem. <laughs> um, uh, and Lord, those books are insanely long and take a ridiculous amount of time to write. Um, but yeah. Whew, okay. I think that's all my thoughts on this past episode. Alright, lads. So, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure that you hit that like button. Because that helps support the channel, and what helps support the channel even more is by you subscribing, because that shows that you actually do enjoy watching this week to week with us. Uh, I'm doing other anime reactions like Gurren Lagann, Promised Neverland, Attack on Titan, uh, those, when those dubs come out uh, for the latest seasons. Uh, I've done the first season of The Promised Neverland, and I do want to take Micaiah through more anime, but we need to finish My Hero first. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, we really do. I've got a, I've got a list of, like, I, I got a couple of them that I think you'll enjoy that aren't, like, weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're entertaining yeah. enough to, like, be considered, like, reaction-worthy, but they're not weird. <laughs> so. Yeah. At least I hope they're not weird. <laughs> but yeah, lads. <laughs> if you want to see Micaiah jump into, like, my taste of anime, uh, subscribe, because th there will be more. <laughs> And there definitely is going to be more My Hero. So see you all lads next week.